Hello friends, I'm Shivay Sivastav and I'm showing you how to format computer and install Windows XP. First of all, insert your Windows XP bootable CD up and drive into the CD drive or USB drive and restart your computer. Before starting with Windows, continuous press F12, that is boot option button. Uh, I'm showing you that I'm restarting my Windows. Pressing F12, now the option comes, select CD DVD, that is your boot devices, it may be your USB flash drive, press any key, now windows is loading your files. I have two drives C and D and I want to repartition it. So first of all, I need to delete it, so press D for deleting C, now to delete this partition press enter, so press enter, to delete this partition press L, so press L, now my C drive is deleted, now come to the D drive and press the D option, to delete this partition press L, now press L, now you have unpartitioned space of approximately 50 GB. To create partition press C. I want to make my C drive of 20 GB. So I am entering 20480 MB. That is 20 GB equals to 20 into 1024 MB. That is 20480 MB. Press enter. Come to the unpartitioned space and press C. Leave it as it is. If you want to repartition then select the amount. But I don't. To install in the C drive, select the C and press enter. Select format the partition using the NTFS file system. Quick. Now setup is formatting. During this process, Windows several times restart and it shows press any key to boot from CD. You have to note that you need not press any key after your installation is started. Just like it, don't press any key. Now type your full name and your organization and click next. Type your computer name. Choose a password. Click next. Don't press any key. Now Windows XP is finalizing the settings. Click next, choose the option and click next. Enter your username and uh, Windows XP to install in your computer. Check it, click on my computer D, it need to be format, click on format. If you like my videos, then please subscribe my channel and watch all my videos. Goodbye YouTube. Thank you viewers.